All right, this is the heart. Chambers of the heart. Right atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle, left atrium. Structures in the heart. The tricuspid valve. There's this structure here. And continues down to here. That's a tricuspid valve. These are chordae tendinae and attached to the papillary muscles. Pulmonary semilunar valve. Aortic semilunar valve. And the bicuspid valve. The bicuspid valve is where blood flows from the left ventricle, I'm sorry, from the left atrium down to the left ventricle. Other structures on the heart, these are auricles. Auricles increase the volume of the atria. These structures are pectinate muscles. These structures are trabeculae carnae. Blood flow through the heart. Blood enters the right atrium through the superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and coronary sinus. Blood from all three of those vessels flows into the right atrium. Down through the bicuspid, I'm sorry, the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, out through the pulmonary semilunar valve into the pulmonary trunk. The pulmonary trunk splits into the left and the right pulmonary arteries. Blood goes to the lungs, comes back via the right and left pulmonary veins into the left atrium, down through the bicuspid valve, left side is bicuspid, right side is tricuspid. This is the fossa ovalis, through the bicuspid valve, into the left ventricle, from the left ventricle, out through aortic semilunar valve into the aorta. From the aorta, blood goes into the right coronary artery, into the left coronary artery, brachiocephalic artery, left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery, and onto the rest of the body. A few more structures you need to know in the heart. This is a ligamentum arteriosum. Remains from fetal circulation. The anterior interventricular artery. Also seen here, anterior interventricular artery. The posterior interventricular artery, the coronary sinus, where all these blood vessels come together is coronary sinus, and the great cardiac vein extends around this way. 
You also need to be aware of the interventricular septum. The layers of the heart, epicardium, myocardium, and endocardium.